Hi guys, welcome back. This is Tuplex. Welcome to part four of our two of our factorial tutorial playthrough. Um, after reviewing the last video uh, and editing it, I realized that a lot of time was spent crafting items that we needed to put things together. Uh, so what I've done this time is uh, I went ahead and kind of pre-made all the stuff that we're going to need for today's episode so that you don't have to sit there and watch me make it. Um, I'm assuming that everybody here knows how to craft something now. Uh, so hopefully the video will be a little bit quicker pace this time and uh, more interesting having this stuff already prepared. Uh, what we need to do today, uh, now that we've got our science set up, we've got green circuits, uh, the next thing I'd like to do is expand our power because uh, we can see right now we're using well, a little bit more than half of our available electricity. Uh, but this isn't running right now because it's backed up. Science is backed up. So once all this stuff gets running at full speed, we're going to be getting close to our limit. So uh, the first thing that we'll do is uh, go and double our power capacity. And because of the way that we laid this out, it's a fairly simple matter of uh, just duplicating what we have on the other side of this coal belt. All right. So uh, like I said, I've already crafted the things that we need. So we're going to put our 14 boilers, leaving a space there for inserters. And then we'll put 14 burner inserters. We're going to place our offshore pump, just like before. Uh, now in this case, I can't put this offshore pump exactly in line, so I'm going to have to move it up. And we'll create a couple of pipes so that we can uh, get this to line up correctly. There we go. So now they have water. We'll put some more underground pipes there. We'll put our 10 boilers. And uh, you can see the because of the way that I placed the electric poles earlier, um, these boilers are already covered by the electrical poles. Okay, that's it. So we've now effectively doubled our electrical capacity. So we now have 10.2 uh, megawatts available. I'm going to place a few lights here. Just every other pole I think should be sufficient so we can see at night. Okay, and we're good to go. And we can see now our power meter is down to four, whereas before it was up around this range. Okay, uh, coal consumption still looks good, uh, but I think while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and put a couple, poor, a couple more mining drills just so we don't run low on fuel for our electricity. When that happens, the factory starts to slow down. Okay, that was easy. Um, while I was crafting components, our research for plastics finished. So the next research that we want to get is sulfur. Uh, once we have sulfur and plastics, we can start working on our science pack threes so that we can continue our research down the tech tree. Uh, for now, we're doing pretty good with red and green science. And as I mentioned, uh, I'd like to get a steel line up and running. So let's head down and get that underway. Now steel is uh, a little bit different on the configuration because to make steel bars, where are they? Here we go. Uh, we need five iron plates. Now, fortunately, steel is produced at a rate that is five times slower than iron plates. So if we have an iron plate furnace that feeds directly into a steel furnace, uh, it'll make five iron plates in just the amount of time that it takes to make one steel plate. So we're going to set this up so that iron plates and steel plates or iron plates are feeding directly into other furnaces to make steel plates. All right. So we're going to set that up right next to our first iron line. All right. So on the outside, it's going to look very much like uh, the iron production that we did before. Only in this case, we're going to make a space of one and then put another row of furnaces. Okay, 
Okay, and then down the middle, we're gonna have two belts because we need to provide a source of coal for the steel furnaces to run and they won't be able to reach it off of this belt here. So we're gonna have another line of coal running down the middle and then there'll be a line for the output of the steel. And then we're gonna set up exactly the same thing on the other side. So let's do that fairly quickly. We need 32 furnaces to do that. Okay, and then we'll have another belt here, whoops, where we feed our iron ore and coal. Great. All right, so um, now remember that we have eight mining drills to feed 16 iron furnaces. Well, this steel line is gonna have 16 iron furnaces also. So I'm gonna place another eight mining drills to make sure that we have enough ore to keep all that running. So that'll be three down here. And then uh, we'll start setting up some more up above. this one up here so it's a little more balanced. I don't want to have too much ore on one side um, because that may make, uh, if it backs up on one side, then some of those drills might stop producing. And we're going to have to move this power pole out of the way. There we go. Oh, did I put that there? <laughs> okay. I think that'll do it. All right. So we've got more mining drills, and then what we'll do is bring this down here and put a splitter to join up those outputs. I need to redo these power poles as well. A space of two, space of two, and two. There we go. Great. Once we get some steel making, uh, we'll start to make the larger power poles, as we uh, mentioned in the last episode. Okay, get rid of that iron ore. All right, so now we've got more iron ore coming in. Uh, I'm going to need to split this. Actually, I'll split it back here. And we'll put another underground belt. Okay. Make a couple more splitters and underground belts. Okay, so uh, just like before, we need uh, a double coal and iron line, which is going to go around the outside. So let's get that set up. I'm going to offset this a bit so that we can make all this fit. All right, sulfur processing is finished. Let's do batteries next. Okay, we're going to split off there. That gets us our iron ore. And then when we bring the coal down, uh, this is the coal is going to split as well. Let me see. We'll put that right there. Okay, so that coal is going to the outside belts. And then this coal is going to the inside to feed our steel furnaces. Okay, so now the only thing that we need are power poles and inserters. Uh, and I am gonna need a little more wood, so let me go grab a few of these trees, and hopefully this will be the last time that we have to go looking for wood. So I'm gonna need a few more power poles. Grab 
one more here. All right. And I think I've got plenty of inserters. I do need some long-handed inserters as well. So we'll get some of those queued up so that we can make all this happen here. Okay. So let's uh, put down some poles here first. And we'll get this side running, and then we'll go take care of the other side. All right. So first, we're going to set up uh, input for the iron. And then, like I said, the output for the iron is going to go directly into those other furnaces. Okay, batteries researched. Advanced material processing. This is a good one because that'll allow us to make steel furnaces, uh, which are twice as fast as the stone furnaces. We are going to upgrade all of these to steel furnaces eventually. Okay, so now the iron is feeding into these furnaces. We need to bring coal in. So we'll put some inserters to bring in some coal. And then finally, we're going to use the long inserters to put the steel on this outside belt. Let's see. How did I want to do that? There we go. All right. That looks good. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. Two poles. And we'll start placing our inserters. Oops. Always do that. There we go. Now in this case, the output of the steel is going to use the yellow inserters. And the input of the coal is going to use the red inserters. There. Now we're making steel. With that steel, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is make a couple of steel axes to replace the iron one. Uh, because the steel axes allow you not only to mine faster, uh, but they also allow you to pick up items more quickly. That one's not getting any coal. Uh, so for example, uh, when we pick up belts, having the steel allows you to pick those up a lot faster. Doesn't seem like it should affect that, but it do. All right, so uh, let's run this over and we're gonna put this as part of our belt, or I'm sorry, of our bus. Um, now this bus is four wide. Two, three, four, and I'm going to put this on the last row for now, I think. So let's uh, do it like this. Okay, advanced material processing has completed. Uh, the next one that we'll do is advanced electronics. Where do I want logistics to? Now let's do advanced electronics next. That'll allow us to make red and blue circuits. Uh, we do need the red circuits for the next level of science packs. You know what? Let's just do that. That way I won't have to have four lines with underground belts just for that coal. Three, okay. Dope. Power pulls in the way. Okay. So now our main bus has iron, copper, steel, and green circuits. So we are well on our way, making progress. So let me grab that. I'm going to make some of these medium electric poles. Um, you may notice I've had, uh, okay, that's done. Let's do, did that one. 
Uh, let's do lasers. We're going to want to make laser turrets to take out enemy bases. Um, okay, yeah, so you may notice I had these uh, wooden power poles uh, unfiltered on this uh, fourth key here. So I'm going to hit Control, middle mouse click, and that'll clear the filter. So I'll move those off. I'll put these power poles there and then hit the middle mouse. So now I have uh, these larger power poles as my main power pole on my hotkey. All right, I'm going to grab some more copper so I can build some more of those. And I'll make a few big electric poles too. Uh, the big electric poles are good for spanning long distances. Uh, so we'll be using those later. All right. Uh, next, in order to upgrade these to steel furnaces, you can see that to make a steel furnace, we need steel plate and we need stone brick. And we don't have any stone brick being made yet, so that'll be our next step. So let's uh, get rid of these. All right, we've got a chest almost full of stone. Uh, let's take a look at our map and see if we have any larger stone patches close by than that little one. Looks like there's one up here, a couple up here. So why don't we go up there and set up a, uh, a little area to make stone bricks. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. I'm going to grab some more iron. Uh, I'm going to make put four drills there. I was originally planning on two, but uh, I think four will be better. And this is basically uh, basically the same as, as our smelting of ore. Okay, we just get our get our mining drills. That'll bring the stone out. We need to bring some coal in, and we need some furnaces. So I'll set this up with uh, let's say eight. Do I have the space to do it that way? We'll just bring it down this way. Okay, laser research. Now we can do laser turrets. Let's do it. Okay, uh, now here's where our big power poles will come in to bring power over there rather than having a long line of small power poles. I'll just bring it over like that. Okay, that makes things a little easier. All right, and then we'll do Eight, I think that's eight, two, four, six, eight. Yep. And uh, I'm gonna split off coal and I'll just run coal down the other side. And then we'll do another belt for the finished product. Okay, so let's make myself another splitter. this over and coal all right I'm gonna go over here and grab some of those inserters that we've been making and then we'll get our brick set up and then we can start making some steel furnaces and uh, before we build additional lines we'll just upgrade the lines that we have already in place uh, and it's really it's really easy to upgrade stone to steel. You basically just plop the steel ones down right on top, and uh, it'll upgrade automatically. All right, so we're gonna bring stone in on this side. We're gonna bring coal in on this side, and then we're going to output our bricks on this side. And the nice thing about these larger power poles now is that they have a bigger range. So with just a couple of these guys, we can cover all of those inserters, which works out nicely. 
Um, and then uh, down here, what I'll do is I will just put a couple of uh, couple of fast inserters, and we'll make two iron chests. And we'll just fill up those chests. We'll start logistics two next. All right, and we'll just let those chests fill up and we'll let this run until that stone runs out. If it does run out, oh, let's extend that belt a little bit. Okay, so now we're making stone. Let's go ahead and get some of it and uh, grab some steel. And we'll start making some steel furnaces. We're gonna wanna make 16 to begin with. And we'll start by upgrading our iron line since that's the one that seems to be struggling to keep up with what we need. Or at least it's the one where the belt's not completely backed up. All right, so grab some steel. Uh, each one needs eight steel plates and 10 stone bricks. So I think our stone bricks are the bottleneck right now. In any case, we'll get those eight started crafting. Grab some more bricks. Okay. And we could make eight more. So we'll run down here and upgrade our iron. And uh, like I said, all you have to do is just drop these right on top and it'll automatically pick up the stone furnace that was there before. Um, all the items that were inside stay where they were. Okay, so you don't have to pick up the old one and then place the new one. You just drop it right on top. And in fact, you can just hold down your left mouse button and run with it. And it really couldn't be easier. Now those stone furnaces will go back in your inventory. Uh, we don't really need those now. But uh, you can use them to make more boilers later on. So we'll hang on to all these stone furnaces so that when we make our... Uh, make more boilers for our power production. We'll have those available. All right, next uh, I'm going to research inserter item stack size bonus. What this does is it allows your inserters to move more than one part at a time when they're going between containers. Now what that means is that uh, it'll still only be able to pick up from a belt one item at a time, or place items onto a belt one at a time. But anywhere you have an inserter going from one container or one production uh, structure to another one, like in this case between iron and steel, uh, with that bonus, it'll be able to move two items at a time instead of only one. Uh, so anywhere you have production with uh, inserters moving from one item to another, it'll be twice as fast, which means you can move material faster with fewer inserters. So in this case, for example, I could have, I could have an inserter here going from one box to another box, and it'll go twice as fast as going from the belt to the box. So that really helps with efficiency later on in the game. All right, let's see if we can make some more of these and we'll upgrade our copper line as well. And uh, we'll do the same to steel. Even though we just set up steel, uh, we're going to go ahead and upgrade that as well. We'll get everything running on steel furnaces. Uh, and then we'll have twice the output that we started with. And that'll give us a little more time before we need to add more smelting lines. So actually, I'm going to cut the video while I do that. And when I come back, we'll have those upgraded and we'll go on to the next step. See you soon. Okay, and we're back. I have upgraded all of the stone furnaces to steel. So you can see now we've got steel furnaces on iron. We've got steel furnaces on steel. Uh, I even upgraded the furnaces on copper, and on our stone bricks as well. Uh, I also 
we were running out of stone uh, and still we're a little short on stone so I also added a couple more mining drills on the stone over here so we've got six on stone and uh, these are managing to fill up these chests at a decent pace we'll have more than enough when we need it later on in the game okay uh, so the next thing that we'll need to do is uh, because of the fact that these are now going to be producing twice as fast um, you may remember before that one mining drill can satisfy the demand of two stone furnaces well steel furnaces craft twice as fast so that means we need one drill for every steel furnace okay advanced material processing is finished uh, Let's do lab efficiency. That'll speed up our research. Okay, so now before where we had eight drills, uh, we now need 16 to keep these furnaces running. So that's the next step now. Let's uh, double up on our mining drills. Uh, and again, I'm going to cut away while we craft those. And I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. We now have 24 electric mining drills. Uh, and we need that because we've already got eight on each of these smelting lines and we need to double that. So uh, three smelting lines times eight is 24. So let's go ahead and start putting these down. I'm just going to add these to the row here. That's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four five six and we need to get two more for our iron ore so we'll add two more nope can't put that there there's stone there we don't want to get that mixed up so i'll just put the other one there okay so let's run some belts and join that with the rest of the line Need some inserters. Okay, and we'll run some power. Oops, there we go. Let me check this out here. Um, according to my research, 22 mining drills will completely saturate a yellow belt. So I want to make sure we don't have 22 or more than 22. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 20, 21. Okay, we should be okay there. And we have less than 22. Okay. Um, now, unfortunately, we can see that this belt this yellow belt is completely saturated but it is not enough to completely fill these supply lines web efficiency one is done let's do solar panels next all right so what we're going to have to do is run another belt you could also do a red belt if you wanted to do that instead that's uh, perfectly valid but in this case, since I have a lot of yellow belts, I'll just go ahead and run a set of two yellow belts through here. And that'll basically double the amount of ore that we can deliver to this area. And uh, I'll show you how that we can split that off in a way that it stays fairly balanced. Okay. Yeah, actually, we don't even need to use splitters right now. I'll go ahead and do it, though, just so it uh, is ready later. So basically, everywhere we need to pull off, we're going to have one splitter off to the side. So we're going to take some ore from this belt and send half of it down here. And then immediately after that, I put another splitter so that it rebalances the two lines again after we pull it off so that these two lines will both have the same amount of ore. Uh, if we only put this one, what you'll find is that 
now this one is half empty and this one is going to be full and uh, that'll cause problems later down the line. So the throughput is improved by having a splitter after every every time you take off of one of the lines. Okay. And I'll do the same thing down here. Just like that. Okay. And now this is ready. When we add more lines later, we can just continue on down the line uh, with these two. Okay. So now we're in good shape. We can see that this iron line has all the ore it needs. Okay, the belts are full of ore. They're full of coal. Um, coal supply still seems to be more than enough. Uh, you can even see that some of these drills are not even running because the belt is full in front of them. That's okay. Uh, we're not using a lot of iron right now, uh, and all these miners are not running. But once once everything is running at full speed, uh, we should find that these that these drills are just barely keeping everything running, and we don't have any idle furnaces. Uh, and I want to check on our coal supply because we are feeding an awful lot of smelting with just those four coal drills. We probably need to add some more, but for now, we seem to be doing okay. Uh, this is a good time to check our power because we did add quite a lot of mining drills. And we can see that uh, our mining drills are our number one consumer of electricity. We're using three and a half watts. Uh, we have over 10 megawatts, or I'm sorry, three and a half megawatts. We have over 10 megawatts of power. Uh, we're doing fine. Uh, we're still only using about half of it. And we can see from our power meter over there. So I think we're in good shape. Okay, that'll do it for this episode. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.